Thank you for your interest in the Graduate Management Admission Test and welcome to this video overview of what you will experience when you come to one of our testing centers to take the exam. We follow a carefully designed set of procedures to ensure that everybody who takes the GMAT experiences the same comfortable, secure, and distraction-free testing environment. This video will familiarize you with those procedures and give you an up-close look at an actual testing center. GMAT testing centers are operated by Pearson View, a global test administration company. We encourage you to arrive at least 30 minutes in advance of your testing appointment. This will allow plenty of time to confirm your identity, sign the testing agreement, and get settled at a testing station. Are you going to take the GMAT? First, you must agree to the rules and regulations contained in the GMAT examination testing rules and agreement with a digital signature. This document provides an overview of all of the policies and rules which must be followed in order to successfully complete the exam. This agreement is included in the GMAT Information Bulletin. You will also be required to present a valid ID to the test administrator. Acceptable forms of ID vary by testing location and are detailed in the GMAT Information Bulletin. For example, in certain countries, a passport is the only acceptable form of ID. Make absolutely certain that you bring the required identification and that the name and the date of birth on your ID precisely match the name and date of birth you use to register. You will be permitted to enter the testing room only after your identification has been verified. The next step in the check-in process is a palm vein scan. This scan, taken using an innovative biometric device, reads the unique pattern formed by blood vessels in the hand. You will be required to provide a palm scan upon arrival at the testing center and any time you re-enter the testing room following a break. The test administrator will also take your digital photograph. This high-resolution image will be securely stored for schools and to visually verify your identity should you retake the test at a future date. Before entering the testing room, you will be provided with a personal locker to store belongings which you are not allowed to have with you when taking the GMAT. These prohibited items include cell phones, watches, calculators, coats, food, and study materials. In addition, you will receive a noteboard and marker for scratch work during the exam. The proctor will then review testing room etiquette with you, escort you to your designated seat, and sign you in to your terminal. Each testing room is designed to provide an optimal environment for taking the GMAT. Testing stations are separated from each other by dividers which absorb noise and offer privacy. Our test centers are equipped to offer accommodations for test takers with disabilities. Test takers also have access to adjustable chairs and computer stations and computer mice that permit right or left-handed operation. You will be required to review and agree to a non-disclosure agreement in general terms of use before beginning the exam. This agreement is also included in the GMAT Information Bulletin. Following this confirmation, you will be able to select up to five graduate management programs to receive your scores. You can designate additional programs to receive score reports later, although there will be an additional fee for those reports. You are now ready to begin the GMAT. There will be two official breaks during the testing period. Should you need to leave the testing area during these breaks, you must raise your hand and wait for the proctor to escort you from the testing room. Although you may access your locker during the breaks, you cannot access cell phones, watches, calculators, or study materials. GMAT testing centers are highly secure to ensure that no one is able to gain an unfair advantage on the test. Overhead video cameras record the entire testing process and allow the proctor to see a live image of each test taker from his or her station. Once you have completed the exam, you will face an important decision. Do I want my scores from this exam to count? You must decide before seeing your score. If you choose to count your score, you will receive a printed, unofficial score report at the test administrator station. This report will contain a verbal, quantitative, and total score along with the accompanying percentiles. 
These scores will also be included on the score report sent to your selected schools. Should you choose not to report your GMAT scores, any future score reports will indicate that you took the exam and chose to cancel your scores. At the Graduate Management Admission Council, we continually strive to provide an environment that will help you perform at your best during the testing process. We hope that this introduction to the testing process makes your GMAT testing experience less stressful. Good luck on your exam.